Welcome back here with Money, Money, Money. And this week we're doing a bit of crystal ball gazing into the year ahead with Nilesh IMD of Kodak Mutual Fund and Lata Venkatesh. So like I promised you, it's time for New Year resolutions. And Lata, what's going to be yours for this year? Well, my resolution is going to be that I will listen even more intently to the likes of Nilesh <laughs> so that you don't mess up with your You're money. Just playing and the more important is, you know, as uh, Nilesh mm -hmm. said, uh, uh, employ some expert to even choose mutual funds. Mm -hmm. Until now, my, uh, you know, more because of the company we work in and you can't buy equities, you always trusted the mutual fund manager, but I never saved through mutual funds. So, yes. To consult a mutual fund uh, uh, information expert, uh, a financial advisor, would certainly be a worthwhile uh, resolution. Okay, so Lata is playing it safe. Nilesh, you've got to give us something better. <laughs> so, I will not listen to my mother. <laughs> so, you know, every new year, more like in Diwali, li less likely in Christmas, but we, you know, seek blessings from our elders. And my mother always tells that, beta paise ke piche mat bhagna. focus on other things also. And then I immediately go back to my room where I have kept a small slogan from Warren Buffet. Money is not everything in life. Money is not important. But make sure that you have made enough money before you make such statements. So I am not going to listen to my mother this year also. <laughs> Alright, so that's hopeful actually. And uh, I actually just plan to be more holistic in my approach to finances. But uh, let me ask you one more thing, Nilesh. Uh, anything else besides the usual mutual funds, debt, fixed income, uh, gold? I mean, any alternative trends for 2016 that you think might pick up? One thing which people should keep their eyes and ears open is in terms of uh, funding a startup. Uh, you know, maybe your son's friend or maybe your daughter's friend, they could be creating a startup company. Maybe it's worth putting some money over there. Uh, this kind of investment is not part of the you know normal universe mm -hmm. and it's high risk, high return. But if those kids actually deliver, they become entrepreneur, the return you will get and the satisfaction you will get will be immense. And my guess is that we are reaching that cusp where people are going to become entrepreneur. They will remember the funding or support given by in the initial stages and they will try to really work hard to pay back. So keep your eyes and ears open within your friends, relatives, associates for this kind of venture cap opportunity. Okay, then just to wrap it up, Nilesh, uh, what's your expectation this time around from the budget? I mean, last year, one of the best things that I heard was a uniform KYC. So far, we've seen little movement. Uh, do you think it's in cold storage and anything spectacular that we can expect this year? So definitely uniform KYC is very, very critical. The ease of buying physical assets, including usage of cash, needs to be you know, at par with the ease of buying financial assets. I'm not saying allow us to buy financial assets in cash, but make the entry easy through you know, just simple bank KYC. Uh, mutual funds accept everything in check, repays everything in check. Now if bank has done KYC, why do you want to bother me again with the KYC? The second thing which is important is that the government should think from a reform point of view, not only from reform point of view, but also from a liberal point of view. Now, we all know to kickstart economy, housing and construction plays a big role. We are giving about 3 lakh rupee worth of exemptions in terms of housing loan deduction and interest on housing loan. Can we make it 6 lakh? and ensure that the housing and construction industry gets a boom and the positive effect of that in a slightly deflationary economy you know, percolates. There will be increase in cement demand, metal demand, rural wages, everything. So we need little bit of zero-based budgeting over here, not incremental budgeting. I hope government takes one of those kind of steps which liberalizes savings to go into investments and at the same time kind of torpedoes our economy. Yeah, you've gone to the top of the charts with that answer. <laughs> Going by your first answer, how committed you are to the people who have trusted you, I believe I can trust you into <laughs> keeping a watchful eye on uh, investments as well. Uh, uh, and, and really the uh, thing also is for us also as investors to also be aware and not just want to dump everything yes. on uh, someone like <laughs> Nilesh's shoulders. But Nilesh, thanks very much for joining in. As always, it was a pleasure having you on the show. And Lata, thanks very much as well. And a very happy new year once again happy to both of you. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs>
All right, on that note, viewers, thanks very much for watching. That's about all we have for you this week. Keep writing to us at money, money, money at network18online.com. You can also find us on Twitter, write to CNBC TV 18 News, use the hashtag money. And remember that you can always log on to YouTube to catch this as well as all our previous episodes. We'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.